Oh. How to do basic stretches and split exercises. All right, so a lot of people are asking me, you know, is like 40 years old or 30 years old or 20 years old, you know, it is too old to start doing splits. And, you know, I say that you're never too old. You know, age is a number. Age is just a made up number. That's basically it. You know, saying that you're too old, you just put in limitation on yourself because of the age. So that's why it's a good thing not to worry about any age. You just do it. You know, whatever you put your mind to, do it. That's it. If you want to do splits and stretches, just do it. As long as you're making the effort, you know, you're going out there and doing it, that's all that matters. You know, it's not the age. Just as long as you attempt to do a stretch, attempt a split, you're already on your way. I look upon age as something they use to control you, like a lot of other things. So basically they say, oh, you know, you're too old for this. So you, in your mind, you're like, oh, so I can't do it. I'm too old. You know, once I reach this age, it's over. I'm done. I reach 40, I reach 30. Oh, I'm done. I'm just going to give up on whatever I'm doing because I'm never going to make it anymore in whatever I want to do because I'm too old. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Don't limit yourself like that. It's all up to you. You're the one that's going to make anything happen regardless of your age. Don't listen to what anybody telling you. <laughs> you do it because you want to do it. Don't pay no attention to anybody. Just do what you're doing. And you will get to where you need to get to. Like you see, I'm doing a split here in the chair. It takes work. I didn't listen to anybody what they're telling me. I just do me. I just do what I had to do. I don't care about age. I just do it. And that's the mentality you have to have. Just do it. If you want anything, just do it. Don't pay attention to anybody. Because once you start doing that, you're going to lose yourself. And you're going to be doing what other people want you to do what they're doing, which maybe they're not doing any splits. So if you do what they're doing, you won't do any splits, you won't be doing any stretching. You're just doing what they want you to do, which is probably nothing. So you decide for yourself on what you want to do. So as I mentioned, I made this stretching routine here, this workout that I have here, which is a basic way of stretching, which still incorporates the full range of motion, but you know, easier way you know than sliding down into the split because sometimes you can find a little bit more difficult to just slide down into a split like that because a lot of people don't really have that flexibility yet to be able to slide down you know you're going to take a little practice take a little work and eventually you will get there not going to come overnight you have to work at it and if you want it in the beginning you got to work almost every single day until you get to where you need to get to and then once you get there just maintain so what you see me doing here, I'm on a yoga mat, just laying on my back, and I'm just going to bring my both knees up to my chest. That's nice and simple. Keep it basic, right? Then I'm going to extend my legs out. Your mission is to lock those knees out all the way and point your toes going backwards. So you want to lock those knees out. If you're unable to do that at the moment, you just have your knees bent just like this. Do the best you can. If this is what you can do, the knees slightly bend, that's fine too. Because you have to crawl before you can walk. So baby steps. So you're going to just have your legs locked out just like that. Hold it there for a little while. Just keep that position there. Then you're going to bring your knees back down. Grab your knees in and tuck them into your chest. Pull them as far as you can up to your chest. If you can touch your chest, that's fine. If you're not there yet, but you will get there, you just work it halfway until you get there. Now you're going to straighten one leg out, straighten out that right, then you're going to pull that left knee in as far as you can. As far as you can. If this is what you can do here, I've shown you that that leg is bent and that knee is halfway, that's fine. You do that until you can reach to the position later on. Then you're going to exchange legs, put the left leg down, bring the right up, and you're just going to try to Pull that knee up as far as you can and straighten out that left. As I mentioned, if you're not there yet, you can bend that knee a little bit and have that knee not too far up to your chest. Then you're going to bring the knees back up, do that same position, try to touch knees to your chest. Then you're going to extend out again, right? And lock knees out, come back down. Just hold the knee there, go back up, 
lockout hold that position for a little bit you know this is like a little warm-up little warm-up stretch in here you're doing nice and simple on the mat then you're gonna bring the knees back down up back up again hold that position remember to point your toes once you point those toes it's gonna force the knees to lock out then you're gonna grab your calves and pull your legs down just like this if this is the amount you can do at the moment that's fine but the mission your goal is to go all the way down and touch your toes to the ground but you're not gonna probably reach there right now at the moment but you will you're just gonna go as far as you can and straighten out those knees your knees should be straight if it's not straight at the moment that's fine you're just gonna get there later on you just work what what you have at the moment as I show you here back up back down then you're going to look a butterfly here then you're going to relax in that position here using your hands to push down the legs then you're going to pull the legs going backwards slide the legs up transitioning into a backward stretch by pulling from the calves guiding the legs this is a different range of motion as i mentioned different ranges of motion in splits and stretches is very important different range of motions will give you different ranges in your kicks in your movements without injuring yourself remember your hands are here to guide you to rock you from side to side to make sure you get that full stretch by using your hands to push your legs down legs back up then you're going to go right back down to that same position use your hands grab by your calf and just pull your legs back if you notice my knees are bent here this is just showing you if your knees are bent that's okay you work from that position and you will get to having your legs straight now I'm touching my toes to the ground so I'm going all the way down full range so your goal your mission is to touch your toes to the ground as I mentioned you will get there just work in baby steps crawl then walk knees back down now I'm gonna go into a butterfly stretch here in this position you want to use your elbows to press down between your thighs so you can grab your toes or grab your ankles and use both elbows and press down by the thighs trying to get those legs open up you want to have those legs touching the ground as far as possible do the best you can and eventually you get to where you need to get to you're gonna grab your toes pull your legs in and you're gonna wiggle yourself down you're gonna kind of arch at the back a little bit and pull yourself down you're gonna try to touch your forehead to your knee go as far as you can remember just as long as you're attempting it you're on your way you're trying so every day you attempt it you attempt it and then eventually you will get to where you need to get to then you're gonna open your legs one left leg out then the right leg out and you're gonna work from this position here which is a half straddle a V you're not completely in a full straddle you're just gonna work from here rock from side to side you know just take your time there's no rushing there's no finish line you have all the time you need there's no finish line you're gonna come down just try to get your head to your knee go as far as you can just as long as you're attempting it to get to as close as you can get that's all that matters every day you attempt until you get there now you're gonna crawl yourself down you're still in a V you can come here just sit just like this in that position here you know go as far as you can just relax in this position coming forward if you can go all the way down that's great just work from wherever you can get to and you keep attempting it now I'm gonna push myself a little bit more now so I'm gonna place one hand behind and one in front and I'm gonna scoop my hips forward pushing my hips coming forward I'm gonna push my hips forward so I'm using my hands in the back and the front to guide me push your hips coming forward you can switch your hands and just push your hips forward until you can push yourself into a straddle you guide yourself into that straddle by pushing your hips coming forward nice and easy you're not forcing it now you're using your hands to guide you by pushing it forward here just relax in that position I'm gonna just crawl myself down with my hands and try to get my chest touching the ground hands straight out in front of me I'm just gonna sit in that position and just feel the stretch from this position so my basic stretching exercise is guiding me right into the straddle so I gradually worked my abductors worked my hamstring worked my hips and then it guided me right into this full straddle now I'm going back into a butterfly where I'm just gonna cool down from this position here by flapping my legs like a butterfly wing just cooling down now so this is the exercise you know basic stretches into split 
and I'm just going to cool down from here. How many times a week can you do this kind of exercising? Well, the exercise that I show you is pretty basic, so you can do this almost every day. You know, you know what I showed you here at the end. I did a full range straddle, but you can work that straddle from the V, so you don't have to go full range in the beginning. You just go as far as you can get, and then once you consistently do it every day or every other day you will get the straddle I guarantee you you will so if you work from the beginning I showed you where you have your legs up in the air straight and you use your hands to guide yourself down use the hands as a guider pull yourself down pull your, pull your legs down work from the butterfly and change the transition bring your knees to your chest eventually you will <laughs> get into that straddle split just gonna take effort and you're gonna have to try you're gonna have to attempt to do it once you attempt you're on your way and eventually you will get into that split